Excuse me. Can you hand me my bag, please? Where are you going? Really, Paige. Well, you can't just call him? Jack's resurfaced. The victim was a seasonal part-time for work nights and mornings. Body wasn't found until the second shift came in. Atlanta PD called us in when they noticed a scarf with roses on it. I figured it could have been Jack's handiwork. Who saw us fucked our last? Two other employees who left just before closing. Hey, I thought you were on vacation. Mm, I was. Any idea what kind of weapon was used? My guess is straight edge razor. Clean cuts, fairly shallow, but a lot of Jack got very close. But that wouldn't be hard in an area this small. Of course, that could be my size talking. They forced his way back there. Someone's trying to unclose. A female customer. Jack's Jill. Looks like she whipped herself into a frenzy. The clerk put up a fight. I found several strands of long red hair in her hands. Also, the victim's ear is missing, and I am assuming the earring that went on it, cultured pearl. Trophy? Proof of a kill. It's interesting is the scarf. The roses. Almost like she's wearing her school colors, her teacher's insignia. No prints, but she left a lot of sloppy trace evidence. Jack's got a B student on his hands. Who doesn't realize that she's a liability to him? I have something for you. After a good fight, was it? I did it myself. You think you have a self? Sharon! I did it for you. I did all of it for you. I was only trying to make you happy. Everything I do, it's for you. I feel good for you. It's all for you! It's for you! No! A minute? Of course. What's on your mind? Well, uh, we haven't discussed anything since... You, I'm just wondering if you've heard anything definite about my staying on the job. As a matter of fact, I have. Let me sit over here. Seems... Well, despite the great work you've been doing for us, the brass wants to see a sign of good faith before granting you amnesty from criminal charges. Good faith consisting of what? They want you to penetrate the syndicate you did the hacking for. Okay, I'm there. Sign me up. Oh, wait a minute, George. I already told them I'm against it. We'd come up with something else. Why? Bailey, I could do that. You'd have to wear a wire, George. I would wear a satellite dish, if that's what it took. Bailey, let me do this. I love this job. And for the first time in my life, I feel like I'm a part of a greater good. And I'm not going to let Marcus Payton or anybody else take okay, it away from okay. me. Okay. I'll set it up. <laughs> you sure you're okay with this? Yes. Why? I'm just asking. For the car out front and an airline ticket at the airport, you're going back to your party. Billy, it's 10 o'clock. By the time I get there... 11.50. I already checked. Plenty of time for a martini and a few laughs. Sounds good to me. This is exactly why you should go. Come on. Uh, Cheer up. Be with you. Do as the boss says. All right. All right. And as you turn the midnight hour, snuggle up with your favorite Christmas cheer.
is it? What happened? I'm the she, one that found her. Okay, okay, she's found who? Colleen, Colleen. She's dead. Someone killed her. The television was on. I figured she was alone. And uh, she didn't answer the door. I just let myself in. And it was dark. I don't think I can ever get that image out of my mind. The way her head looked. God, Sam, how do you see what you see? <laughs> do you think this could have been Jack? No. No. No, if it was Jack, you would have let me know that it was him. I can't even imagine what Drew feels. I mean, they were fighting all night. I wouldn't want that to be my last memory of her. Come on, let's go to the other okay? The police want everyone to stay in town for the next day or so while they investigate. Could have been anyone. Some insane person or some transient. Sam, so maybe you could talk to them. No, I don't, I don't think I need to do that. But you, you have to help. It's what you do, don't you? I mean, don't you want to find out what happened to Colleen? Well, the husband takes the manager in the back to open the safe. The clerk holds a gun and the wife. The wife notices they're having this raffle. It's this great raffle. So she gets so excited, she fills out an entry. Name, address, phone number, everything. Drops it in the box. He went over and picked her up. That's a true story. Can I help you? Uh, yes, my name is Samantha Waters. I'm with the FBI. Ms. Brenneman was a friend of mine. I was wondering if I might have a look around. FBI, huh? Yes. What do you do for them? I'm a profiler. A profiler? A profiler? It's the shrink who makes guesses, right? Look, I can help or not. It's really up to you. Hey, who might argue? We're a small department. Don't touch anything. She was beaten to death. That's a good guess. No sign of a murder weapon. No blood in any of the bathrooms. Was she wearing anything? Not a thing. She evidently sustained the first blow while she was sitting in bed. No sign of forced entry. Of course, it probably wouldn't be. None of the doors were locked, not even the front. Any sense of rape? Nothing obvious. We'll do a rape kit anyway. Evening started out with champagne, ended with TV. Whatever happened to romance? Colleen wasn't watching TV. She was nearsighted. She could never have seen it from this far away. The TV was on to mask the sound of the attack. Well, if somebody had turned it on, she would have noticed. Don't you think? Well, if she knew who it was, she wouldn't have cared, would she? Malone. It's me. Sam. You okay? Uh, well, no, actually, uh, a friend of mine was killed. Oh, good. Tell me it was an accident. No. She was murdered. I'll get the team out on the next job. No, no, it's not Jack. I'm so sorry, Sam. Tell me what I can do. What? Do you think that you could send Grace out here? All they have are county Emmys, and I really want to get as much information as possible. Whatever you need. Sam, I'm worried about you getting involved. I'm okay. I'll, I'll talk to you later. 